we're going to meet a young race car driver whose battle with type 1 diabetes nearly ended his career on the track. Stay tuned for more from the KTLA Morning News. This Money Market Update brought to you by Greenlight Financial Services. Three degrees this evening, 38 degrees. High wind warning until uh, later on this afternoon, about 2 o'clock. Seven-day outlook for Los Angeles or the Orange County beaches and the San Fernando Valley coming up in just a sec. Frank. Hey, thanks, Mark. We are here with a, a young man, uh, Ryan Reed, 18 years old, who is defying his diagnosis of type 1 diabetes, and he is driving this thing. Uh, tell me what this is. You're a NASCAR development driver. What does that mean? Yeah, um, I've been driving ever since I was a little kid, racing go-karts, and then uh, I had the opportunity a couple years ago to move up into stock cars, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm developing to be uh, into the top series of NASCAR and uh, hopefully compete with the big boys here in a year or so. I love that. A lot of folks don't know what type 1 diabetes is. You, tell us when you were diagnosed and what did that mean for your life? I was diagnosed a year ago when I was 17, and uh, it changed everything. Uh, I was told I wouldn't be in a race car again. I would just need to worry about, uh, you know, living. And uh, I, w I didn't even know what diabetes was at the time. You know, I wasn't real familiar with it. And uh, so my my immediate goal was to figure out how to get back in a race car. I was really discouraged, and uh, so I started doing research. I couldn't find any race car drivers with diabetes, so it was very, very discouraging. And finally, uh, after a couple months of research, I stumbled across Charlie Kimball, right. who's an IndyCar car driver. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was like, oh, this is cool, you know, maybe there's some hope. And uh, I found his doctor, Ann Peters, which is local, and uh, she was like my saving grace. Uh, I went in there, and I was totally discouraged, and she's like, uh, okay, well, you know, everything looks good, going through my por portfolio, and, uh, and she's like, y you're a race car driver? I'm like, well, I was, you know, until I told I couldn't do it again. She's like, well, do you want to work for it? And I'm like, absolutely, I'll do anything I can. And she's like, okay, well, then you'll be back in a race car. And so she got me on a, called a CGM, a constant glucose monitor, so I can monitor it during you the race. You got that in your pocket, right? Yeah, I got it right here. Uh, it always stays with me. Um, it uh, shows my blood sugar uh, all the time, real time, and uh, it mounts on my steering wheel. So that way, uh, you know, if I ever go on a high or a low, I can uh, correct. But, you know, she's, she's got a great system working with me, and uh, we've been very fortunate. No highs or lows inside the race car. It stays in a good range. and. Everything's going good. Adventurini uh, Motorsports supporting you all the way on this, right? Oh, yeah, they're a great group. It's a family-owned team, and they're a great group of people. Support me. Uh, uh, Big Bill, is uh, uh, he's a type 2 diabetic, so you know they, they know a little bit about it, and uh, it's, it's nice to be with people who support you like so that. So you're driving around the track. Uh, you said you, you got to race uh, or uh, ride in Daytona close to 200 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. You're checking your uh, glucose level and everything. There's enough going on in the car. Doesn't that uh, distract you? Or? It's just like another switch, you know? I mean, we have gauges and stuff going on, and uh, I'll check my RPM. And water temperature and you know check my blood sugar at the same time. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. And Des, we were talking about family. Your dad, uh, Mark Reed, and and when when you found out that your son had type one diabetes, that must have been devastating for you as well. It really was. I mean, um, Ryan kind of wanted to go down the race car path since he was old enough to walk, and so we watched him come through go karts, watched all of his success on and off the track, and then to to watch him be told almost overnight that you know everything that he'd worked for was was going to stop. Obviously, as a family, it was all about health at that point, and you know, could he? You know, as a person, how was he going to deal with this uh, disease? We didn't know a lot about it. And so, um, obviously, like I said, Ann was just amazing for us uh, to watch him get healthy, number one, and then um, and then to see him be able to get back in the race car and chase his dream. And he works harder now than way harder than he did before he was diagnosed because he has to. And so that motivates me as his dad and, and his mom to help him do everything to get back in the car. Yeah, Ryan, I know you're involved in, in, with a group that I'm very involved with, the Juvenile Diabetes <coughs> Research Foundation. You're, you're doing some events. Talk to us about that. Yeah, it's a great group of people. They, uh, they do so much for uh, diabetes as a whole, and I, I just, I'm so blessed to be able to work with such a great group of people. Uh, we did a one-off event at Daytona, uh, put their name on the car. Sam Bass, he's an artist for NASCAR. Um, he's also type 1 diabetic, and he designed this car that we're all so proud of, and um, it just went so good that we just kept wanting, we had so much momentum, we wanted to keep going. Uh, there's so much, you know, people, and just we got so much positive reaction about it that uh, it was hard not to keep working with them, and now we have uh, events planned all year and it's it's a great great thing all right we were showing some uh, information on, on the screen there uh, Ryan's show car will be at the Long Beach uh, Grand Prix on April 15th right yes to help uh, promote mother's car care products and JDRF and then on April 22nd uh, check out the cool and the classic car show to benefit juvenile diabetes research foundation that's happening at the Braemar Country Club on Reseda Boulevard and Tarzana and to learn more about Ryan's mission 
go to ktla.com. And, and, and one last thing, though. I mean, driving the car is one thing, but you have to rattle off the sponsors. I think that's <laughs> easy. You, you, you can go ahead and give us some of the names of you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's part of my job description. Like you said, Mother's Wax. Uh, there you go. Some great car car products. Uh, yeah. LA Car Connection is hosting the, the uh, car show you talked about. Uh, some great things going on. JDRF, uh, you know, on the hood. I mean, it, it's a great, uh, the car looks beautiful. Uh, and so. But uh, you got to learn to get it all out in one sentence. Yeah, yeah. 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 as you're answering whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I'm still young. I'll get the flow. <laughs> all right, buddy. Great Thank job. You. Uh, Thank you. Michaela, back to you.